Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have some new spring journals that are going to be in my Etsy shop. They should be in there by now. I will have a link for my shop down below so you can go check these out. There are three I'm going to show you today and then tomorrow I will be showing you another video that has three more but I will give you a sneak peek of those three at the end of this video so you can see what those look like as well. They are all made from little golden books and they're all vintage. I think the newest one I have is this Pooh, the very best Easter bunny. And that one is the year 2000, so barely vintage. But I do have, let's see what this one is. That's 1985 and then this Forest Hotel one is 19 I think it's 50 I'm not sure I'll, 78 1978 but I do have one I believe that is like in the 1950s that's in my other set there's a couple older older ones in that other set they're all different but they all have to do with either Easter bunnies or spring and they're perfect for both I made them all the same way this time. I decided to go with three binder rings to connect them and I tied the vintage fabrics and ribbons and trims on there and it has everything included in the book. I used the cover, the back I covered with fabric, the front I left the front of course but I did add on this one I had to add some ribbon at the top because it had a stain right there and I added rickrack on all of the books and I apologize my cat is just running around playing so if you hear like darting around that's her anyway <laughs> so I used a couple different paper collections this one is the Easter collection from Michaels this year it was a hot buy and this one is Echo Park, I believe. And that one's the Recollections. So I'll just go ahead and start flipping through. I'm going to go really quick. They have things that are included. They all have three altered paper clips along the top. There is stitching throughout per usual on my journals. There are things that are already in the pockets as well as it will come with a little ephemera pack. I have these items for each. Uh, and then I will put in a couple more Easter or bunny or spring vintage paper or vintage book pages to go in in additional. So they all have scrapbook paper in them, dyed papers vintage book pages, vintage flashcards, and Monopoly or Game Piece Money, just a variety of things in here. And of course, you can always add more pages. That's the, the beauty of having the binder rings. So you can do what you want with that. So I'll just go ahead and start going through here. This is a little pocket. Here's a tuck spot and a little card. This is from the actual book. All the pages from the book are included. And they all are just really cute books. Gotta get this, lay this down here so I can open it up right. There's some vintage manuscript paper. If there are pages that are really delicate or super old, I added, I washi tape and on there so that they won't rip. Love this cute little carrot napkin. I did some stamping of Easter stamps that I had in my stash. I made those tickets. This is a vintage bunny, like actual bunny book with, with photographs. So I thought that was cute.
Love this. I think I found this at a thrift store, but it's vintage. The, um, ruffle trim. Here's one of those beautiful bunny napkins. I've used this a lot in different things. This is a vintage Easter recitation book from a church. Little tuck there. Here are these. I thought these are so funny. I remember these, having these by the phone. <laughs> Don't use those much anymore, do we? This is a vintage Easter uh, Precious Moments from 1973. I found a set of these, or a couple different sets. They're actually bigger pieces and they're meant for putting on the wall, like for decoration, but I just thought they were so cute. I ended up cutting this in half and there's another cute side that is in one of the other books. It's, it's a thick cardstock, but I just thought it was so cute. And then this is a vintage Hallmark glassine bag. I had found that at my mom's house too. She had a whole pack of them. I thought they were so cute. For 19, I'm sure the 1980s or 1970s. I did stamping throughout too on different pages. And there are all kinds of different vintage Easter and spring book pages throughout, not just the book itself. There's a bingo card in each one, vintage, as well as cut aparts and different other ephemera pieces, some stickers, little place cards. All the papers I dyed with either um, just food coloring or I used jello, not jello. I used the little like drink packets from the Dollar Tree. I, I've done that a lot where you could use any of the colors. The only one I would recommend not using is the lemon lime. I thought it would be green, but it turned out like a yellow green and it was not, not very pretty. But the blue and the pink, and there was one more color that I did. I can't remember. Oh, I think I ended up just using either yellow. I used green food coloring to make that one just because it, the drink packet did not work. Here's another really cute napkin that I found. That's in, I put one of those in each. A couple of them have a vintage postcard, a spring one, and I thought that was so cute. That's what this one has. And that is it for that one. And then here is this, Bunny's ABCs. These will all be listed separately in my Etsy shop, so I won't have a hard time, you know, figuring out which is which. Here is another piece of one of those precious moments things. I cut that off the top. I was kind of making, trying to make them to fit the books. Lay this down again. They're all pretty similar, except for, of course, the book pages. I added, I sewed some of the fabric to make tabs on some of the pages as well. Here's another one of the Easter decoration precious moments. I love that. Precious moments is my favorite. I have a bunch of precious moments things, and I do want to make some books eventually in precious moments.
this opens up. Didn't show that in the other one, I don't think. I sewed rickrack on some of the pages. This was one that I used food coloring and it wasn't quite didn't turn out quite green it was more of turquoise but I love it because it was just I had sprayed some of the papers that I colored this color and then I just took paper and put it down on top I usually when I dye my papers I lay out kitchen trash bags on my counter and with this particular dye job, I sprayed everything. And I think, you know what? I didn't use food coloring. I used my Distress Ink sprays. So I sprayed the initial papers. And then after I did that, I pulled them up. And then I took paper and laid it down on top of the wet water and ink that was left on the trash bag and it gave, gave me this beautiful effect and I thought that went well because people usually they dye eggs at Easter time and it looks like that so I thought that was great love this book it's a vintage Peter Rabbit book but I just love the artwork on that it's so cute it's like a water watercolor painted illustrations My husband brought these back for me. <laughs> I actually use these still at my work, but he found them in, in a box or a cabinet and they don't use them anymore. So he brought just a little handful of them for me, but I thought that was funny, a phone call. And then there was another, I don't remember what the other one was, but they come like this tall and so there's four of them. another vintage rabbit Easter book this was some fabric trim that I picked up at a vintage market it came in a big long piece I think about a yard long so I just cut it down and I sewed it so some of it comes off the edge and then the other part of it you can use as a little pocket Here's another pocket. I I went through my stash of vintage ephemera and just found colors that would go well with this. So since this was a yellow and blue book, I found this. It's a, it's a receipt from a truck center from the 1970, but this is funny. And then here's the last page for the inside cover. So it has some money and this cut apart is from an Easter collection. It's cute. And there's the back of that one. And on to our last one. This one is Pooh Bear, the very best Easter bunny. Use some fabric that has these little Easter bunnies on it. It's really cute. That's what the back looks like. I don't know if you can hear that, but my dog Nikita is laying, sleeping in his bed across the room and he's snoring. <laughs> he snores all the time. It's funny. He's a Shih Tzu, so he has that short little nose and yeah, <laughs> he is sacked out right now. I found some of these cute little cardstock stickers. This is a, an Easter bunny. It's glittery. So I included that in here. 
And some of them. I think each one has a different one of those. This is a little side pocket there. I put in a little piece of grid paper, some washi tape. This is some other vintage trim. I think this is really pretty. Here's more of that precious moments. Now this still had a little cutout here, so I added some stickers just to keep it together so it would stay. The other one I had, that was already punched out, so I couldn't use that part of it. This is some fun trim. Another really cool vintage Easter book that page came from. I love that. And that one. My favorite. I love that. So I will have all the details as far as the page number and everything in the Etsy listing if you want to know that. And then here is the last, the back cover. Some fuzzies on there. And yeah, and I'll, I can show you just a sampling of one of the ephemera packs. I loaded them differently when I put them together, so they all have this about the same amount of stuff, but I, I may have put more inside the book than, you know, what you see here, but there's just some different things, different playing pieces. This is a um, vintage memorandum, but I just thought the colors went pretty well with everything and just some different things that I had in my stash I thought would go well. Most of the vintage stuff is already in that book anyway so but I'll add a couple more vintage book pages to each of these kits and then yeah they'll be up in my Etsy shop so be sure to Go check those out if you'd like. If not, I am hoping that this just gives you inspiration for your journals that you're making for spring. Let me grab the other ones so you can see what they look like at least on the front and then come back tomorrow and you'll see the insides of those. So here are the three that will be in tomorrow's video, but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek so you could see what else is up in my shop. They may or may not already be in my shop now, but I'll be just be doing the video for them tomorrow. So hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.